And we have some new video tonight of the bombings captured from a runner's perspective. You can see and hear the explosions as she is nearing the finish line. More local runners just returned to Portland tonight on a flight from Boston. And our reporter, Cor Harlan, is there live at PDX. And Cor, I know you met several of those runners tonight. They all have a story, don't they? Boy, they have some emotional reunions here tonight at the airport, Kelly, and some terrifying stories to tell. It's hard to imagine being closer to one of these explosions going off than a Portland man was yesterday as he approached the finish line. The ex second explosion went off about uh, less than 100 feet right in front of me as I was making my way to the finish line. An exhausted Brian Burke told was looking ahead toward the finish line and the haze and smoke from the first explosion when the second one went off. We just hit the ground and debris was flying everywhere and the minute that second one went off we just found some place to go and I hurdled the barricade and went right for the uh, Apple store. He ran to the basement of the Apple Store. State troopers armed with AK semi-automatic weapons cleared Brian and others to the back alley. He wasn't hurt by the explosion, but he was close enough to feel it. I just felt debris that was all on the floor, and as we docked and covered our heads, you could feel it just falling down in that area. It is also an emotional return home for Devin Johnson. She was on the chaotic subway when the explosions occurred. Still, her brush with disaster has reminded her of what's truly important. I was traveling alone. I had friends there, but when everything was happening, I couldn't even think about anything else but just getting to my family. Both Devin and Brian are home now. The accomplishment of a lifetime shadowed in some small way by a brush with disaster that they've lived to tell about. Now, aside from some sore legs from running the entire marathon, neither one of those runners you just met was injured. They are back home at Portland tonight recovering. Uh, reporting live at Portland Airport, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.